Welcome. This is a chakra meditation for the hormone glands. Chakra in Sanskrit means wheel or vortex. Each chakra is like a wheel or a spinning ball of energy interpenetrating the physical body. The chakras intersect with the physical body through two major vehicles, the endocrine system and the nervous system. Each of the seven main chakras are associated with one of the seven endocrine glands and also with a particular group of nerves called a plexus. Each chakra can be associated with particular parts of the body and particular functions within the body controlled by that plexus or that endocrine gland. Today in this meditation, we're going to use our mind to direct energy to these areas so that we can enhance or increase our body's healing potential. Take a comfortable seat where you can be relaxed and free from any distraction. You can sit at the edge of your chair or if you're on the floor, elevate your seat on a cushion so that your hips may relax. Close your eyes. Now settle your pelvis. Feel that downward descending quality, heaviness of your pelvis as it descends with gravity. Soften your skin. Breathe in. Grow your spine tall, lengthening up through the crown. Breathe out. Keep your inner body bright and release any tension you may be holding. Let's begin with the crown chakra, Sahasrara. I want you to imagine at the crown of your head there's an opening about the size of a quarter. Now visualize healing white light flowing down from the universe through the opening on the crown of your head into your skull. As you breathe, this white light swirls around and expands through your crown your skull, and the pineal gland embedded in the brain. This gland produces melatonin, which modulates sleep patterns. The shape of this gland resembles a pine cone. Imagine this white light around your pineal gland, accumulating in a ball of energy. This ball of energy is your highest chakra, vibrating with the highest frequency. It is pure white light. With your inhalation, let this white light expand in and around your skull. Let this white light heal and balance the glands in your brain. moving down the central core channel of your body as if along a channel of light to the carotid plexus. This is the sixth chakra called Ajna, located around the third eye. This chakra is associated with the pituitary, also known as the master gland. The pituitary gland controls several several of other hormone glands in the body and your blood pressure. It also regulates water retention and electrolyte balance. 
with your eyes closed, gaze inwards and up between your eyebrows and focus on a color of light in the shade of indigo. Envision a ball of energy in bright indigo turning and spinning. As you breathe, this indigo light swirls around and through your third eye, your center of intuition, and deeper into your brain. Let this translucent indigo light expand in and around your skull. This indigo light heals and balances the glands in your brain. Moving down the central channel to the cervical region is the fifth chakra called Vishuddha. This chakra is associated with your thyroid gland. When this chakra is under active, we struggle to articulate our truth and express our feelings. Visualize a ball of blue light in the center of your throat this ball of blue light expanding with your breath and swirling around through the butterfly shape of your thyroid gland. As you breathe, notice if your throat is tight, as if something were stuck that you swallowed down and did not express. As this ball of blue light swirls around your neck, it is healing, softening any hardness and breaking away any blockage here. Let your throat and thyroid soften. There's a powerful energy source located here, our vocal cords. Inhale, expand the blue light of your throat. And as you exhale, close your lips and gently create a humming sound, sweetly like a humming bee. Take two more rounds of breath, vibrating the thyroid and parathyroid glands which help to regulate your metabolism amongst other things. Moving down along the channel of light to the cardiac plexus region is the heart chakra. This is called Anahata. It is located in the heart space or center of the chest and is associated with your thymus gland. Visualize an emerald ball of energy and light swirling in your chest. Expand this green energy with each breath. Notice does your heart feel open or closed off? Is it heavy or light? This chakra is associated with self-love, kindness, and compassion. 
As you breathe in, can you be kind and give yourself love and compassion? After a few breaths, notice does your chest feel any lighter? Bringing your thymus gland into balance is associated with a stronger immune system and better health. Also stimulating a passion for and love of life. Moving down along the channel of light to the solar plexus region, center of the body. In this region is the Manipura Chakra, also known as your body's powerhouse. The chakra is closely linked to the pancreas that regulates sugar in the body and plays a key part in the digestive system. Right above your pancreas is your diaphragm. And every breath we take causes the diaphragm to compress and release the pancreas. On average, we breathe 20 times a minute, stimulating each breath our pancreas. Our gut is like a second brain because the enteric nervous system relies on the same type of neutrons and neurotransmitters that are found in the central nervous system. Visualize a ball of yellow light, center of your body. Breathe in, allow your belly to expand deeply. And as you expand this yellow light swirling like a ball of energy. Let go of any doubts. The center is associated with your self-esteem your decisiveness, and your personal power. Imagine with each breath being more confident in yourself and feeling worthy. Let each breath expand your personal power. Moving down along this channel of light to the sacral plexus region, the second chakra is called Svaristana. Visualize an orange ball of energy and light expanding with your breath. This region is approximately three inches below your navel. It is the center of sexuality, creative expression, and emotional expression. Here we find the reproductive glands the ovaries in a woman. Breathe in, allow your belly to expand deeply as you expand this orange swirling ball of energy. Visualize it flowing in and around your reproductive organs, your ovaries and uterus, healing, restoring, balancing.
pure orange translucent light. Now moving down the central channel of light, we finally arrive at the sacral region where the first chakra resides, Muladhara, the root chakra. This chakra is red in color. Its location is at the base of the spine. Movement in this region is slower and denser for example, we use our anus in this region once a day for evacuation. Visualize here a red ball of energy, dense and slow moving. This chakra is the gateway to all others. As you breathe in, expand the red ball of light at the base of your spine and bottom of your pelvic floor. Allow your pelvic floor to softly expand as you breathe in. And as you exhale, feel your pelvic floor gently lift as your belly draws in. Take a few breaths here, following the slow and subtle movement of your pelvic floor with each breath. This chakra is associated with grounding, safety, and your survival. When this chakra is out of balance, we can suffer from anxiety and feel ungrounded or uprooted. The hormone that is out of balance here is adrenaline, which is the fuel of our fight or flight response. When this chakra is in balance, it is our primal connection with the earth. If our body is in a constant state of fear, we'll easily burn out and other parts of our bodies cannot function well. So this chakra is not only related to our anal glands in this region, but also our adrenal cortex. Notice if you feel more rooted, more grounded, as you visualize this red ball of energy, slowly expanding with your deep breath. Feel your pelvis heavy on the earth, rooted, grounded. Keep this calm and connected feeling as you move through your day Gently breathe in and out. Relax your concentration and slowly open your eyes.
it's no coincidence that the major organs of the endocrine system are situated in the physical body in correspondence with the chakras of the spiritual body. Knowing this, we can repeat this meditation anytime to bring healing and balance to these areas and the function of the bodies and glands associated with these areas. <laughs> 